Joe Tedai here. I'm going to go over my bug out bag. So, um, as you can see, it's not too big. This is something I keep in my car. Uh, I do have one for my truck, and it's much bigger, but I'm going to go over the contents of this thing real quick. Let's just talk about the outside real quick. I've got a Topps knife here on the outside. It's a little bit smaller one that I, I designed, but uh, nonetheless, it's a good knife. Got a sharpener uh, inside here, as well as a, uh, a flint starter and uh, a small uh, sharpening stone. Got a snap link on the outside for attaching anything I may find. Uh, of course, a water blivet inside of the uh, backpack uh, that you can fill up with water. And then on this side, this is a, uh, a tourniquet that you can uh, get to very, very quickly. And uh, you don't want something like this on the inside of your rucksack because heaven forbid if you need it, um, you're gonna need to get to it pretty quick. And lastly, uh, I've got a set of flex cuffs on the outside, uh, and those speak for themselves. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's just go through these pockets real quick and take a look and see what we have. Alright, so on this pocket here, what I have here is just some basic food items. Um, I've got some turkey and some salmon. I've got three bottles of this New Way protein uh, drink. It's got 42 grams of uh, protein. I've got some powder that will uh, help hydrate you if you find water. I have two power bars. And I also have a waterproof um, notebook and a pen. Inside this... And these things are great um, if you can get them out of an airplane if you travel first class. These are great for just carrying different items. And this is my first aid kit. And I've got everything from uh, zithromycin to amodium um, to uh, basically um, stuff for my stomach. I'm not going to be carrying a lot of band-aids and stuff. Quite frankly, uh, my weak point is my stomach. So anything for diarrhea, I've got some iodine. I've got some neosporin, some chapstick. And, and stuff like that because the last thing you want to do is start getting dehydrated from diarrhea uh, or vomiting and um, get into a worse situation. So that's my, my first aid stuff. Band-aids are great, but they're not going to save your life. All right, so that's in that pouch. The next pouch above that, <clears throat> I have a bunch of items. And I'll take them out. I'll set them here in front of you. I've got a multi-tool. I've got a little keychain that's got a whistle, signal mirror, a red light signal light, an infrared light, and a thermometer. Of course, your survival bracelet. A little hacksaw. A lighter. I don't need to rub sticks together a five-hour energy drink, a Lasky sharpener for my knife, a good quality Benchmade folder, and lastly, good flashlight, surefire light. Can't beat it with a stick. All right, so we'll go into this compartment here. We've got some various <coughs> items here. First off, a pair of gloves. Um, these are slightly used, but a really good pair of uh, Oakley Assault gloves. I've got a pair of mini binoculars, for obvious reasons. Now I've got a flask right here. There's nothing in it right now, um, and what I'm considering putting in here is bleach, because you can use bleach to disinfect water. But it's a really high quality flask, and that's going to have some bleach in it. I've got another pair of lightweight gloves, another pair of flex, two pairs of flex cuffs. I've got an Etrex Vista GPS. I've got OD Green bungee cords because underneath that. I've got a poncho that I can make a poncho hooch with. 
And last but not least, I've got two um, walkabout radios, um, and I have uh, I make sure that the batteries are fully charged. Uh, and of course, if this is sitting in a vehicle or something, you need to make sure your batteries are up to snuff. Uh, and I also have a packet of hand warmers. Okay. And in the main compartment, I have a bottle that you can boil water in and a watch. A pair of bolt cutters, just in case I have to gain entry to a place that I need to gain entry to. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six chem whites. I have green, red, and blue. I've got a space blanket. And this actually, this, this space blanket I got in Romania, it's a really heavy duty one too. It's not a small one, this thing's a Mac Daddy uh, space blanket. This is a really cool item uh, some folks sent me, it's a warming vest. It's basically like a giant hand warmer, but you put it on your entire body and it'll warm your body for eight hours. So if you're close to hypothermia, this thing's a bomber. Some wet ones for sanitation, go in the bathroom. This is a giant um, tarp, it's not real big, it's uh, eight, eight foot by eight foot from the ground. Some Gorilla Tape in case you tear a hole in it. And lastly, a mini bivy bag. Um, and, uh, you know, this isn't going to keep a whole lot of cold off you. Obviously, if it's zero degrees, you're going to freeze, but just basic basic warmth, something 30 degrees, 40 degrees will keep you warm. And, and lastly, this bag is a bag that uh, I designed and I'm going to be making more of them. So that's basically it.